hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is chris and this is crisp digitals if this is your first time joining me please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you will be notified every time i add a new video to my channel if i'm speaking low is because it's very late right now and i'm recording this um, before i go to bed so today I want to show you guys what I use for my OneNote daily note. All right, I've done something like this before, but what I did was a kind of a horizontal landscape kind of um, daily note, uh, which I probably can show you guys right here. Let me go to my real notes. Um, go to one of the old ones that i have let me see sunday for example so right here this is how it used to look like all right and this is nice too uh, I've, I've used this for a long time but um, i also showed people you know they say in some of the facebook group and that's what some of them use it's very useful and i you know i, I don't mind going back to this and i'm um, using it but um i wanted to show you guys the horizontal one because actually the vertical one because it's easy for me to do certain things with a vertical one and um, it's seamless and easy for me to use it um, the horizontal one it's kind of different and i will be showing you guys and um, why i prefer the new one i created over this one again this one is not bad it's still good all right, let me go to my experiment. So this way I do my experiment if I use any of my creation, okay? All right, so let's look at this. So the first thing I want to look at is this entire um, daily note. So it's divided into three sections. The morning section, which is the morning the, um, schedule, the business section, and the evening review. All right, so let's go to the morning section or the morning schedule so thing you want to see is um i have morning log so for me my morning log is bible reading so i'm in the book of proverbs now so i read proverbs chapter 2 verse 1 to 22 on wednesday and today's inspiration is this all right so the, the thing i want to show you guys is that over here i was able to link my bible app into my um one note so if i go here and if i click to take me to my bible app so right here i can choose the the book of the bible i want to read so i'm in proverbs so i can choose this okay and right here i can go to proverbs chapter 2 or chapter 3 and i can read the bible and when i'm done i can just click the back button okay and i can come back here all right so here i can also have my today's inspiration which i can click here to go to today's inspiration and to take me to goodreads.com where i can actually pick any motivational quote here or i can just go to this corner and just pick any quotes that i like maybe time quotes success quotes relationship quotes inspirational quotes i can just choose any of them and i just copy the link i can come back to my um notes i can come back to my one notes and um paste this here okay all right so as we move down here i have my personal task and schedule so right here i have my work schedule so here is 6 30 a.m go to work and a 1 p.m meeting with a landscaping company and um, 4 p.m pick up dry cleaning okay so these are just example i just put here this is not what i did today <laughs> okay and over here to i have to do list here i have take the cars to the car wash and i have you know buy swimming goggle, goggles for the kids and and the rest of that here and right here i have my self-care and health and, and awareness okay so right here it's going to be my personal development yeah i have uh, watch videos on ventricular assist devices um do some guitar practice 
research on new ideas for managing my time right and over here i have um time um i have my self-care sorry um kind of kai freshener making these are just you know things i do this part of my business but also it serves as a therapeutic session for me whereby you know it's so soothing for me to make candles or kaya freshener it's just i am just in my world and um the the stress of work and everything just dissipates when i'm in this zone right here okay it's just so calming for me when I start making candles or making kaya fresheners okay so I use that as my self-care and I also use uh, worship music to suit myself and to you know reconnect um, my mind back to you know uh, an atmosphere of calmness okay sometimes I um, just worship in the in the house or when I'm driving I just uh, play worship music and over here i have daily steps and hard points so right here um, i put um the goal for my daily step is on uh, 10,000 steps i have 12,000 steps here and then i check it if i met the goal and over here hard points hard points are just activities that keeps your heart pumping more so those are the activities that you count so um I believe the American Heart Association they recommend having 40 points um, for your heart point, okay, per day. So sometimes I do up to 70 points. Sometimes I do less than that. But this day I did 65, so I just put it right here. And over here is your daily water tracker, okay? You can just tick them. So I did about one two three four five okay five times sixteen that's the amount of what i took in okay all right let's move to the next section which is the business section so right here is where i have the heisenhower matrix which i've shown you guys in this particular one before okay the heisenhower matrix where you have the important urgent important not urgent not important urgent not important um not urgent okay so that's the heisenhower matrix right here so over here it's different the way i made it is just like a, a vertical section so here i put important and urgent so these are the ones that you do these are your your uh, must do you have to do this so right here i just created this um fictitious um list so right here i have create new invoice for anc candles llc this is my actually business this is my company all right and then uh, send production order to manufacturer for mr johnson's order okay and then the rest of them i just you know put everything right here and um right here is import important but not urgent so these are so these are tasks that you need to do that are important but they are not urgent meaning that this can have times this can have um, dates so for example at five o'clock i have a conference with um, a conference call with mr wilson okay so this call is important but it's not urgent why because it starts at 5 p.m it's not something i need to drop everything for to go make that call there is a time for that and so the rest of that okay and down here you have not important but urgent not important but urgent so these are the ones you delegate to people who are part of your team that are experts in certain skills that you don't have so these are not important to you but they are urgent matters they need to be attended to so for example starting production um you don't do production you just you know collect um, new leads and stuff and when you close on the lead the production guy is charles so you assign charles to do the production and you don't do um order uh, you don't prepare order for shipping that's the job of mary so you just delegate all these tasks to this section not important but urgent okay 
and the other one uh, the last one for this Heisenhower matrix is not important and not urgent so these are the ones that you don't care about these are the waste of time um, task these are the ones you just you know delete because they really don't have any um, any importance to you or to your team or to your company so you just delete those ones so you put those ones here so here are the hints for what i just talked about so here um the dude you know there are ta these attacks that must be done as soon as possible they are urgent and important and the same thing i went with the schedule went with the delegate which i just explained to you um guys over here so this is just something you can read up on all right all right let's go to the last section which is the evening review so after the day's activity the morning work the um exercise everything you've done for the day is now you know time for the evening review you want to review everything you've done for the day so right here for me first of all i want to have like a leisure time a recreation time for me i say you know walked on the trail with the family okay and um go for evening swim um watch a tv show you know uh, and then i reflect and say okay who did i call today so right here is um calls made today so the name of this the people i call today say for example i called daniel to do um awareness check which is the reason for the call all right and over here paul i called him to confirm order placed on the website okay and over here you have completed task and um, here you have move to tomorrow for example um, say i did create invoice for anc candles i've completed that okay i can move this over here as a completed task and right here um, send promotion production order to manufacturer um, to manufacturer okay for mr johnson's order so i can take this and I can move it as well over here, okay? And right here, um, my to-do list, you know, I took the cars to dry cleaner. I can also move that here, okay? Uh, over here, change the furnace filter. So I did that. I can move that as well. I can move that here. And over here, say I did my conference uh, with, with Mr. Wilson, I can say I'll move that here, okay? And um, let's see, um, I couldn't actually uh, meet with the online manufacturer at 7, so I'm going to move this to tomorrow. So I'll move this right there to tomorrow. So this will be done tomorrow and um, say the delegation that i gave to um katie to reach out to um, the clients from germany for example she couldn't reach the client because of the time difference when it was um conducive for katie to do that mr mr james in germany is already sleeping because of the time difference so we're going to move this to tomorrow okay so i'm able to do all of that so now i can come over here for my creative ideas here i put here is your creative space or here is your idea space so you can create okay create whatever you want to create here like as idea comes you just start typing and um save this for for when you need to go back and look at what you've created for this day Okay, so the last thing is your evening log summary. So this is where the day summary will be entered. Everything that was accomplished today will be summarized here. Enter your wins, your losses here. You can create a table here as well to show your top three wins and your challenges here. Okay, for example, I just put the table here. So for my top three wins, I said new leads, go uh, got invoice paid, converted a new lead okay so these are my top three that i did today so now you guys have seen the vertical 
um, uh, portion of my daily notes and over here I have my notebook and link navigation so over here you guys have seen this before those of you who've seen my video you can see it as well in this one where it's right here this is the horizontal one or the landscape one so this is it right here and all these are linked that are clickable okay and if I go back here you guys can see that I incorporated it on this corner so right here i can go to my admin section i click on that you see me right there that's my admin section and i can i can actually go back by clicking this or i can just hit this um, experiment back and also here i can go and show you guys uh, my leads my entire crm system is right here okay this is what i use for my entire crm system if you haven't seen the entire crm system that i created i have a video that i will link to this video in the description you guys can go watch that and um yeah so okay now let me tell you guys the reason i like this particular one you see how i was able to move my task to this section and i can move them back and forth like that okay see how i was able to do that is because you know this is not horizontal this is vertical so there are columns okay and i was able to do that if you look at this i cannot do this i cannot move anything like that to each other i can't do that doesn't give me that option okay because this is kind of like in one big um container right so this is like in one big container and i can't really move them like that um, but this one i can really move them the way i want to move them okay just like that i can move even the deleted ones i can still move that too for example right so this is very useful for what i do and i hope you guys like this video and if you want to download this i will leave a link to where you can download this in the description and um, it's free you guys can use it all right guys that's all i have for you if you have any questions please let me know if you have any comments please also put that in the comment section don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this i'll see you guys next time have a blessed day bye bye